Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can import users to your .NET Nook website by using the interactive user import module from Data Springs. So this is the module on Snow Covered. I'm going to my test website and I'm going to log into the backend because we have to install this module. So I'm going to log into the backend as super user admin level, sorry, host level. And in the backend, we're going to go to host module definitions. And from here, we're going to install this module as any other module. I have downloaded it already, so it's in my file system. So I'm just going to go to install module, click on browse. I'm going to go to my folder which is right here, and this is the module. So, we're gonna choose the installation package, click Next, nothing special here, just a regular .tetook module, click Next again, and Next again, click Accept License, hit Next, then let's check if everything went fine with the installation. Yes, installation successful. Let's click return. Okay, so now let's have a look and see if it's installed properly. So it's right here, interactive user import. Now we will add a new page to the site so we can add this module to that page. So I'm going to hit new, I'm going to call it user my user page and just any name here I'm gonna I'm not gonna give access to all users this is private to to admin so I'm not gonna check all users and I'm gonna hit update so I'm gonna delete the HTML mode that is already there and I'm going to the drop down of modules and select interactive user import. In any case, uh, just in case, uh, the module is called interactive user import, but it does import and exporting. So let's add this module to the page. Now, the module will start a wizard. And in this wizard, we can upload files uh, like a CSV files, a tab delimited file, an Excel 97, 2007, Excel S, extension Excel, Excel S, Excel SX as well, spreadsheets. So we can upload any one of those types of files. Now, one uh, in, in important note uh, mentioned by Chad Nash from Data Springs is that in the next version of this module, you will also be able to upload, to, instead of selecting a file to upload, you will be able to uh, write a SQL statement that you can uh, use to uh, upload users to the site as well, that can use to import users to the site as well, if you have the user information in tables. But in, but in this case, in this version, we have to upload a file. So I do have a sample file. I'm going to open that just to give you an idea. So this is just sample file, uh, random usernames, they don't really exist. So I, I have uh, created this file with a username column, first name, last name, email address, display name, and password. Now, some fields here, they they can be automatically generated by this module. For instance, password. Password can be generated by the module as well. So if you don't have a password column, the module can generate that for you while it's doing the importing of users. Username as well. If you don't have username, the module can generate usernames uh, automatically as well. But in, in my case here, I have set up the, I have created a spreadsheet with the most, I would say, uh, logical or the, the required fields when you are creating a new user in .NET Nook. So we have username, first name, last name, email address, display name, and password. So this is our file. Now from here, I'm going to add a name to this 
uh, process that we're going to go through right now because this module actually save this process if you want to reuse it in the future. So I'm going to, I'm going to call it process 01. Here I can choose the file and this is the file that I have users.xlsx, which is an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to open that. If by any chance I had already gone through this process before, I could select, I want to execute existing import definition, but this is the first time. So there's no import definition yet created. This is the first one. So I have put a name, I have selected the file. Now, again, this is a wizard that we're going to go from step one to step five. So I'm going to hit next. Now here, First, because this is an Excel spreadsheet, it's asking if uh, I want to import sheet number one, which is what we have here, sheet number one. That's fine. Now, the columns. I can select which columns I want to import. So I want to import all of them. So I will check all of them. But the other thing that I have to do is I have to map what is the core.net nook field that my, for instance, my username column should map to, of course, the username field. My first name column should map to .NET Nook core first name. My last name should match to .NET Nook last name. My email, my email column should match email column from .NET Nook. My display name should match display name of .NET Nook. My password field match password field of dot that look again this it's here it's listing all the columns that the process was able to find in the file that I have uploaded okay so this is step two we have mapped everything that we wanted let's hit next now from here I can select which events I want to happen I want to run I want to create after once each record, each user is created in, in our site. So I can select, uh, that I want to, uh, add the user to a role. In our case, I can, I could very much do that. Uh, I can, I can keep the in role selected and I've not created, um, actually I have created a, a role called clients. So I'm going to add each new user from this file to the client's role. I can set an expiration date for this user. I don't want anything like that at this point. I can select if this will run only, this will happen only for the initial import or for future import updates. For instance, if a user uh, in my file is already in the system, then uh, an update will happen. Uh, an update will happen with the uh, that user record. So I can say that I want it should run only for an, on the initial import, on the import updates, or on both of them, initial and import. I'm going to keep it only initial import for now. And I can also filter which users I want to import. I can create a filter if I want. I don't want that. So once I have set my event, I can click Add Event. This is the end of part one of the video on how to import users in .NET Nook using the interactive user import module by DataSprings.